Assalam o Alaikum my dear students how are you all hope you all are doing well i your science teacher present you the following lecture so let's start this is the title page of your book the science vector for class 3 and today is the lesson number 2 chapter number 6 matter and materials states of matter and in lesson number 1 i told you about the matter okay means matter is anything that takes up space everything in the world is made of matter and all matter is made of atoms okay and atoms are tiny particles yes and when two or more atoms join together they make molecules very good so by the end of this lecture we'll cover the following learning objectives states of matter and the presence of atoms in matter yes start for the activity can you name them 1 2 3 yes this is an ice cube and the ice cube is solid this smoke is gas and the water in the glass is liquid okay and these all are the states of matter yes my dear students the three states of matter solid liquid and gas now i will tell you about three states of matter in detail one by one so start from the solid okay so remember one thing every matter has three properties okay i told you in the uh, previous lesson every matter has three properties mass volume and shape okay so when we'll describe states of matter we remember this point like properties of matter so solids have a definite shape mass and volume clear solids have a definite shape mass and volume what is shape mass and volume properties of matter and they can be recognized easily because of this their size and shape do not change unless something forces them to change for example this book is a solid chair solid hammer solid okay and the easy example is this a brick is a solid a brick will keep its shape and size unless it comes up against a strong force okay if the force is big enough the brick will change shape and size a brick that has been hit with a hammer is still a solid no matter how many times you hit it it just becomes lots of smaller solids got my students in simple words when you will write or when you will describe the definition of solid simple words solids have a definite shape mass and volume okay now liquid have you had a drink of water lately <laughs> well water is a liquid okay or in juice is a liquid the blood in your body is a liquid the syrup is a liquid okay liquids are not solid clear liquids are not solid they flow now in simple words liquids don't have a definite shape but they have definite mass and volume okay in solid three properties are definite shape definite mass definite and volume definite but in liquid shape not definite mass and volume definite okay clear my students liquids take the shape of the container they are put into for example this milk takes the shape of the jug it is in okay and if 
the milk is put into a glass it will take the shape of the glass okay and if you pour the milk onto the floor it spreads out because it's taking the shape of the floor clear very good now guess just because you can't see something doesn't mean that it isn't there in fact you are surrounded by things you can't see the entire earth is surrounded by things you can't see these things are guesses okay so guesses don't have definite shape don't have definite volume and don't have definite mass okay means there are three properties of matter and in gas three properties are not definite like liquid they take the shape of the container if a gas is not in a container it will spread out in the air quickly and freely okay and like liquids gases take the shape of any container they are put into but there is a major difference between the way gases and liquids fill that space now listen very much carefully when you put a liquid into a container it fills the bottom first okay and when gas fills a container it spreads evenly for example the gases you blow into the balloon spread out so the balloon gets bigger evenly it doesn't get bigger at the bottom first got my point so in the simple words gases don't have definite shape don't have definite volume and don't have definite mass and like liquid gases also take the shape of their container yes atoms and solid liquid and gas you get this diagram carefully first solid yes in a solid atoms are packed together tightly okay and the atoms move but can't move past each other okay my dear students now liquid in a liquid atoms are close together but are not tightly packed the atoms move and can easily move or slide past one another now gas in a gas atoms are not close at all the atoms move freely at high speed clear yes visual explanation uh, these are the two links about the relevant topic and i hope these and uh, these links make your lesson more easy okay so must watch now the dictation words i'll pronounce these all words one by one so listen very much carefully matter states solid liquid this word is not liquid okay this word is liquid gases atoms molecules tightly packed particles materials microscopes container properties mass this word is not mass mass okay volume amount space talc talcum powder natural definite the word is not definite the word is definite balloon and the last word is spread okay now the homework home assignment learn unit number 6 okay learn unit number 6 by heart from the book from the notebook from the workbook write questions answers on your notebook 
the questions answers will be uploaded on the google classroom okay you can take the question answer from there learn detection words paste pictures according to the topic on your copy okay because the diagrams and pictures make your copy very much beautiful and, and attractive do page number 19 20 and 21 from your workbook okay must watch work must do this work okay now the wrap up now i will tell you about the today's lecture again okay so that's three states of matter solid liquid and gases okay and solids have definite shape mass and volume and liquids have not definite shape but have definite volume and mass and gases have not definite shape not definite mass and not definite volume clear it is so much easy beta okay my dear students thank you so much take so clean care of yourself signing off for now until the next lecture allah hafiz